Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to discuss building a tactical mobile library. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to discuss my mobile uh, tactical library or mobile command center kind of setup. Um, so if you are a series prepper, I recommend that you have a lot of information stored. So in bad times, grid down, things like that, information is going to be key to your survival. So a lot of you cannot go out and get trained in every aspect that you need to get trained in, whether it be gardening, uh, candle making, uh, soap making, all this other stuff. Um, so you need to start housing that information, and I've been housing it for years. Uh, I have partnered with a vendor uh, that is going that already does the hard work for you, the heavy lifting, as I say, and um, they uh, supply you information on USB uh, drives. I'll do a, this is going to be a series of videos about this setup and kind of my thoughts on it. So uh, what you're going to need to do is have some type of way to view the information and potentially share it, whether it be emails if that, that system is up. If not, at least be able to get it up and read it. I chose to purchase something separate, which was one of the surplus tough books that are on the market. Uh, these tough books are used by the military, government agencies, police departments, uh, fire departments, EMS, people like that. So these, there's two versions of a tough book. You have one that is semi-rugged and one is ruggedized. Um, the, the, the rugged is the what I chose. It's more waterproof. things So I could spill water on this keyboard and it wouldn't matter. So if I was out in the field and it started raining, it's not going to short out my electronics. Um, if, it, if you're interested, I pay $200 for it. Uh, that's up to you if you decide you don't want to do this and you have a laptop existing. Uh, in my Amazon store that I always share in the link below, a lot of this stuff you see here is in there. But I've also found some ruggedized laptop cases that you could put your laptop. Um, you might have had an older laptop that you're not using anymore. You could wipe it clean um, and then start housing information. However, do not house all your information own a electronic like a uh, even a tough book hard drives crash things happen and if that happens and the grids down you're going to play heck trying to find uh, computer repair people right so you want to be able to house stuff SD card memory sticks things like that uh, make sure that uh, you are having duplicates uh, because these SD cards are convenient Small, lightweight, easy to put a lot of information in here. The problem with these, these are pretty delicate. These can break. Uh, I did buy this off of Amazon. I wanted to try it. This is a ruggedized USB memory stick uh, that is very durable. The plastic reminds me of more of a polymer, uh, like a gun frame's made of. Uh, so this also in my store. They're reasonably priced. They're not overly crazy priced or anything, uh, that sort of thing. So a few different reasons I wanted to have this. Uh, obviously, the information we've just discussed, I wanted to have church software uh, to be able to probe ra radios on the fly uh, out in the field. I'll go ahead and uh, show you that. So I can go over here to the search box, type in chirp. The app comes up. I can click on it. And now I can plug in my radios with my programming cables here and uh, be able to program radios. And that's important because if... Um, Let's say I have to pack up and leave, and the area that I'm in, the state I'm in, I decide I need to go to Texas, or I need to go somewhere else away from where I'm at, um, because, you know, there's a bad situation in this state or this area. Um, the radios that I have currently programmed will not work in the new area. Let's say I decide to move to Idaho or Wyoming or wherever. Um, the information that I have in those radios will need to be reprogrammed for that area specifically. So I want to be able to do that. So that was another reason I wanted the, this set up with the tough book. So let's just look at some of the information. I've already housed information over the years. I've started collecting. Um, so I can go in here and let's say I want to learn about uh, let's just take one here. Let's find one. 
uh, intro to canning. So this was produced by the ball company. Let's start preserving. Uh, three simple steps to preserving. It tells you everything you need to know. So again, I don't care if you're a professional, whether you be a doctor, lawyer, you know, police officer, military personnel, whatever. Y'all, you do continue in education. You're constantly learning and, and gaining knowledge. Uh, just because you're good at a few things, next thing you know, you need to be good at something else. They've put something else responsibility on you. Um, you may not ever had the responsibility of needing to can or garden. So I wanted to be able to have this information. Uh, even if I, uh, and I'm going to buy a what's called a thermal printer um, to be able to print some of this off. Most of the PDF files and stuff I have are printable. So if I need to print something off and hand it off to a neighbor, whatever, I can do that. Um, let's see. Prepping medical home remedies. Click on that. So home remedies, right there. Cough, cold, burns, bruises, cuts, scrapes. It gives me home remedies. So that's the kind of information I'm talking about storing. Military training manuals, all that type stuff. Uh, any other specific uh, software you might need, um, whatever. Again, Chirp is the example. So a few things I've bought already. Uh, I did. I don't. I, the, the little mouse here, the whatever mouse pad they call it. That's fine uh, if you need to use that in a pinch, and it's there available. But I do like a separate mouse. Uh, these are cheap. You know, ten to twenty bucks, depends on what you want. A uh, little wireless mouse. I prefer those. So I got something like that. Um, charging. You want to be able to have different sources to be able to hook up to this. Uh, batteries go bad, batteries go dead obviously. So I've got 12 volt, in other words like cigarette lighter, plug-in type stuff. I've got uh, 110 um, household uh, plug-in type setup also. So I have a couple of different methods. I'm working on a battery, separate battery. I'll discuss that in a different video. Like I said, I'm going to break this down into a series of videos. Uh, on the CF31 in particular, there's a guy that I re I, that he's on eBay. I'm sorry, he's on um, YouTube that I found that specializes in tough books. Uh, I'll link to his information. I was able to use him to decide kind of what I wanted when I found it. So I found the CF31. Seemed like a good deal at a couple hundred bucks. I researched all the features and benefits of a CF31 and decided to go ahead and purchase it. So. I will link to him. Uh, this case here, uh, you need something to be able to grab and go, um, kind of a mobile office. So I've got this. This is one of those tactical style briefcases, if you want to call it that, uh, laptop holders. This one's very nice, good construction. It's also in my Amazon store. So we have that here. Um, this one does not have the what's called the backlit keyboard. So I wanted a little work light. So I found this. This was like 10 or 12 bucks also. Two different methods to use it. You, you can plug it into a USB. B, so it can literally plug into your computer and that will you know cause it to work and also batteries so you can just clip it to the top here and if you look just like that and it just clips on which is pretty handy uh, out in the field if you need it. it's lightweight it's easy uh, I decided to encrypt mine with this special um, security system here if you see this here called Hunter's Laptop, and uh, that's I understand, I've heard that that's really good security. Uh, if government agencies would ever confiscate something like this from me, uh, that they pretty well suppress that, I don't know. So I heard it's pretty well uh, secure, so I wanted to make sure that I had that uh, in this laptop also. So I thought, I found that it does seem pretty good. Um, I just want to, I don't want to leave it at a repair shop though, that's kind of bad, you know, and forget about it, that, that wouldn't be good. Because uh, my understanding is the law is if you leave it past a certain days, it becomes their property and they can do what you want with it. So just keep that in mind uh, when it comes to some of this uh, computer stuff. But um, yeah, guys, mobile command center, tactical library, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it's important to have something like this um, that you can have at your fingertips for information. Uh, a few things on the CF31. It's got a stylus so you can do hands-free. I did go ahead and download uh, DuckDuckGo. I'm not connected to the internet right now, it looks like. Um, but on the side here, you've got a uh, some ports, and one of the things is actually a little toggle switch to get you connected to Wi-Fi. So let's see if it'll connect now real quick. So looks like, yep, now I'm connected. Go ahead and 
There you go. So I use DuckDuckGo. They uh, are a non-tracking um, provider when it comes to web browsers. So if you search something uh, on you know Google or whatever, and you wonder why you're getting uh, all these things on your Facebook feed of uh, trying to sell you, I don't know, if you looked up cruises, the next thing you know, for the next two weeks, you're getting all these cruise advertisements. Well, that's because they're tracking what you do. Uh, DuckDuckGo, I'm not promoting them. I just know that they don't track your stuff. So I did go ahead and put that on here uh, as my main search engine that I'm going to use uh, to research stuff. So in this right here, this laptop here, you can, uh, so we'll go to YouTube real quick. So it's not the best quality as far as things go. I mean, the, the graphics are pretty, you know, you can tell it's dated. Uh, but my main thing, ruggedized and, and works really well, uh, was my main thing. Um, let's look at the video here. And this one, uh, I just pulled up a YouTuber, uh, Brent0311. Recon mission loadout is the video we're watching. The um, some of these tough books have uh, an ear jack where you can use like uh, earphones and stuff. This one don't have that. It does have a microphone, no camera. So if all those features, some of those features matter to you when you're purchasing one of these, uh, just kind of look through like you would just buy a normal laptop. Um, again, this one doesn't have the backlit keyboard. They do offer that in some versions. So just ask the vendor, does it have this, this, or this, if that's important to you. I wish this one did have the backlit keyboard. I wish when this one did have um, the ear jacks. That way I could listen to it more privately. Um, but it doesn't have it, so it is what it is. I've already bought it, and so I'm, I'm kind of committed to this one now um, for that purpose. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, Mobile Command Center, Tactical Library, whatever you want to call it, I uh, highly recommend you start something like this. Again, we think of prepping. There's main things that you do, whether it be by that water purification system, by that ammo, by that uh, dehydrated food, by that certain you know pistol or battle belt or whatever. This right here is all part of that. With all that stuff that you have, if you don't have information to learn some basic skills, again, for a long-term sustainability situation, such as trapping. So I know for a fact I've got a file in here about trapping. Let's see. Yep, right here. Called Deadfall Snares, Traps, blah, blah, blah. See right there, Deadfalls and Snares. <laughs> So it's a complete setup book telling me how to do all that. So again, if you've not practiced that, but uh, uh, you need to know it, that's what that's the type of information I would find. Um, so I partnered with that guy. I'll uh, share that video again, part of this series uh, that houses that information for you, um, kind of the easy way out. Um, so that way you don't have to go in and try finding all this information. I found it over years of, of looking and so he kind of consolidates that down. Again, don't take what he gives you if you decide to buy from this vendor once we do the video and the review and that's all you do. Look for other information. He might have not, he might have 700 manuals about whatever but he doesn't have one about canning or soap making or something. So pay attention to the little things that might be missing because uh, it's, it's nearly impossible for to gather everything you need, but just kind of start thinking about uh, that when you're gathering your information. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, post those below. If you've got any experience with something like this you've created or some suggestions you can give to even to myself or other uh, preppers out here, it's good to share that information, help each other out um, to be able to uh, share uh, content and um, your knowledge so we can all better ourselves for our family and our prepper network. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, post those below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.